Coming up on Cedar Valley Today, Bremer Avenue might be seeing some change. And Warburg West is taking applications. And we'll talk about how you can protect your eyesight. This is Cedar Valley Today. Hello and welcome to Cedar Valley Today, I'm Tyler Metcalf. After much debate, Waverly City Council has made a decision about Bremer Avenue. The ave avenue will continue to have four lanes rather than the proposed three. The revision was suggested in hopes to increase the safety on the avenue. But after talking over the pros and cons, the City Council decided to keep things the way they are. Construction on the road itself, however, will continue as planned. This is going to be a two-year reconstruction, uh, complete brand new pavement, et cetera, for us, which is going to be really nice. We've needed that for a while, and it was just a matter of what's it going to look like it when it's done. Are we going to go back to the four lane that we're used to, or would we be bringing in the three lane as we, as we come back? Cedar Valley Crime Stoppers are looking for your help in finding a most wanted person. Levi Colin Dull is wanted for possession of a controlled substance with the intent to deliver methamphetamine. Bill can be recognized by three tattoos, a barcode tattoo on his right ankle, tribal one across his shoulder, and a tattoo that says DMS Love Anyone on his right shoulder. Anyone with information can contact the Black Hawk County Dispatch at 319-291-2515 or Cedar Valley Crime Stoppers at 855-300-TIPS-8477. A cash reward is available. After an ongoing discussion last week among the Waterloo Police Department and Waterloo Mayor Quentin Hart, the city has come to a conclusion. Dan Trelka was said to have told some of his officers last week he'd been asked to resign. The reports were not confirmed nor denied by Hart or Trelka last week. The announcement has been made that Trelka will stay employed. Supporters packed the city council chambers yesterday after Hart had made the announcement. Trelka will continue with the department and work on building trust with the community as well as stopping gun violence. According to Hart, Trelka's focus for the upcoming year will be only on police issues removing him from his role overseeing Waterloo Fire and Rescue. When we come back, Warburg's campus has many events for students to take part in. After Andy, Grammer canceled, after Andy Grammer canceled on Warburg last year, the Entertainment Tonight staff promised a large event this year. After running another poll for students, the staff came to a decision. This summer, country music artists Brett Eldridge and Brett Young were announced as the act. The event held October 4th at 8 p.m. now has tickets available for the public. The, the tickets are available for $20 to the online box office or at the box office in the Siemens Student Center on Warburg's campus. Warburg College is less than a month away from their homecoming. The weekend of October 13th through 16th is themed Shine Your Armor. People interested in registering for the parade can do so online. The top three Warburg student organizations will receive cash prizes at the event. The Renaissance Fair on Saturday also has registration open for organizations interested in having a booth. A $25 fee will be applied to the student organization's campus account. The college is also hosting a spirit contest for students to paint their windows on campus. The top three windows will receive cash prizes provided they register for the event through the college. The deadline to register for the events is October 6th. For more information, you can go online to www.warburg.edu slash homecoming. Warburg West applications for next summer, fall 2017, and winter 2018 are being accepted. This includes spots for internships that are part of the program Application materials can be found at www.warperg.edu slash west, and all completed applications should be turned in to Joe Dorrance, Student Life 184. Her email is joe.dorrance at warperg.edu if you have questions. Warperg College Sustainability Department is looking for donated t-shirts in adult and youth sizes. They will be used for a Renaissance Fair activity during Warperg College's homecoming on October 15th. 
Donations can be dropped off in the sustainability office in the basement of Old Main or at the physical plant before Monday, October 10th. When we come back, we'll take a look at what's trending in the Cedar Valley. Every time I hear the alarm bell go off in school, I think it's an air raid. A lot of houses in our neighborhood have been destroyed. I like to close my ears and sing songs whenever the bombs come close. I'm worried our new neighbors won't like us. But I know it's all going to be worth it. I just want my family to be safe. But these are not my these words. These are not my words. These are not my words. me googly eyes. You know you're beautiful, right? You know that? Even you are beautiful. I got bullied for wearing glasses. Share if you're against bullying. We put it out there, just took off. Three million people have shared this post. Don't let bullies get you down. I stand with you. The whole family's wearing glasses. I wear glasses and I'm proud. I even have the army on my team. All the kind comments brought my child joy. I don't feel thank you is enough. That Let's take a look at what's trending in the Cedar Valley. The Cedar Valley Sportsplex in Waterloo is offering a total body toning class. Fitness specialist Jacob Frederick will offer his expertise Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9.30 a.m. The goal is for you to achieve or maintain a lean body and to live an overall healthier lifestyle. Three Warburg alums and a Warburg professor were named in, in the Waterloo Cedar Falls Courier's 20 Under 40 Awards Monday. Associate Professor of Spanish Zach Montgomery was honored. The alums honored include Felicia Smith Knowles, who is the executive director of Nissan and Knowles, Mark Hubbard, a financial advisor at Northwestern Mutual Insurance, and football coach at Waverly Shell Rock High School, and Brooke Trent, a lawyer at Trent Law Firm. The awards spotlight people who live and work in the Cedar Valley under the age of 40. Second-year Warburg golfer Brooke Blosterman is a four-time Iowa Conference Women's Golfer of the Week. She placed second in the 2015 All-Iowa Conference. She also tied for 14th place at the Warburg Fall Invite. Brooke helped the Knights finish 11th as a team at this invite. Hope Overflow, a musical group on campus for worshiping God, is holding auditions tonight and tomorrow from 7 to 9.30. The group is excited to bring in new members to help them in spreading the word of God. The audition sign-up sheet is across from the campus ministry office outside of the chapel. Auditions will be held in Fine Arts Center 212. And now let's take a look at your local weather. Now we'd like to welcome head football coach and athletic director Rick Willis. Coach Willis just earned his 150th career victory this past weekend, defeating Nebraska Wesleyan. So first off, congratulations on that, Coach. Thanks, Tyler. Now let's talk about these protests and players kneeling during the national anthem. As the football coach and AD as well, what's, what's kind of your view on this? Well, you know, I think like a lot of things, you can look at it more than one way. Obviously, unless you're in the shoes of, you know, other people, you don't really probably completely understand what they might be thinking or their perspective on a certain thing. Obviously, individual freedom, kind of, you know, some of the foundations that our country uh, is based on is, you know, gives people the right to express their, their view. Um, I think where, what, what's different in this situation is that, I guess in my view, when you become part of a team, 
that changes a little bit. You know, you're no longer representing your individual viewpoint, but you're representing the viewpoint of your team or your organization. And when you decide to become part of a team like that, you're taking on that responsibility that you that it's bigger than just you. And I think are obligated to, um, you know, conform to the standards and expectations of that group. And so I, I guess that's that's where I think. As an individual, yeah, I mean, you know, people can do what they want to do, but when you're part of a team, when you put on that uniform, um, you know, it's bigger than just you. Although it's not an issue on the football team or, as far as we know, no, no other teams on campus, if you were in the situation of, you know, some of the coaches, you know, nationally, what, what, was, what would you be doing? Well, I think you just try to talk through it as I just did and, and help people understand that there's a difference between, you know, an individual taking a stand for something and taking that stand for something when you're representing something, you know, when you're representing a team or a different organization and trying to help people understand that. At the same time, understanding that, you know, there are lots of different perspectives and people are free to, um, you know, free to voice those, uh, those perspectives. Like we said, you recently had your 150th win here at Warburg. Has there anything happened like this in the past that you've seen? Not really. I, I can't think of a situation, you know, where, where, where we've had this type of situation. Obviously, there's things that happen that kind of catch the news for, you know, a few weeks, and then, you know, they kind of <clears throat> fade away. And, you know, I would, I would imagine that this, uh, this type of thing would be similar to those situations. All right, thank you very much, Coach Willis, for joining us today. And uh, good luck this week as well. When we come back, today's Health Minute gives you information on keeping your eyesight excuse me, despite growing older. Every time I hear the alarm bell go off in school, I think it's an air raid. A lot of houses in our neighborhood have been destroyed. I like to close my ears and sing songs whenever the bombs come close. I'm worried our new neighbors won't like us. But I know it's all going to be worth it. I just want my family to be safe. But these are not my these words. These are not my words. These are not my words. Aging is a natural part of life and some health challenges can't be avoided. Like any other part of the body, your eyes are susceptible to age-related problems. But you can take action to keep your eyes in good shape during your golden years. Kim Hutcherson has that in today's Health Minute. As we get older, the threat of vision loss gets higher. Age-related risks include dry eye, glaucoma, macular degeneration, cataracts, and diabetic retinopathy. But you can reduce your chances of vision loss and keep your eyes healthy by following some simple steps. Make sure to get a comprehensive eye exam in which your eyes are dilated. Dilation allows doctors to check for signs of damage or disease. Wear sunglasses or a hat with a brim and use protective eyewear when playing sports. Prolonged sun exposure is linked to cataracts and age-related macular degeneration. Know your risk factors. A family history of eye disease means you have a greater chance of problems down the line. Give up smoking, or if you smoke, don't start. Research has linked smoking with a host of eye problems. And eating right will protect your sight. A diet rich in fruits and vegetables is crucial for healthy eyes. It's also helpful to eat fish high in omega-3 fatty acids like salmon, tuna, and halibut. If you want more tips for healthy eyes, check out the National Eye Institute website. For today's Health Minute, I'm Kim Hutcherson. The Warburg Knights sports teams had a busy weekend out of state. This past weekend, Warburg College football traveled to Nebraska Wesleyan, a new team in the conference. In the second half of the game, the Knights scored 28 points, defeating the Prairie Wolves 38-28. The Knights are now 1-0 in the Iowa Conference. Now we'd like to thank you guys for joining us today. And if you'd like to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Cedar Valley Today, that'd be great. Have a great day, Cedar Valley.